Chris Johnson, Blue Collar Outdoors, and today we're going to do the in-depth review of the Breakwater Backpack. Like I said, I, you saw this last year, I got it in and I actually used it all waterfowl season. This is a Breakwater Fogland Backpack that's fully waterproof. First off, this thing was great all year, never had any water get into it. All right, so the first off this backpack, after using it for a year, has done everything it's supposed to. I mean, nothing has gotten wet. The only time something got wet was obviously when it was raining out and I forgot to zip the zipper up, and obviously it's gonna fill full of water. But- They will do that. They will do that. I mean, Actually, it would hold as well. It, it did, it held water quite proves, well. Proves it's waterproofness. <laughs> so that was the only time anything got wet in this backpack. I mean, it's a really good backpack so far. I mean, nothing's torn out from unzipping the bag or anything like that. I mean, you actually got to give it a good tug. The little pull tabs on here. Surprisingly, these haven't ripped off because you would think after so much use, they could possibly turn it, tear off. Turn it. These little tabs on the side are to help unzip this, which you do need because, I mean, it locks right in. You got to give some good force. Also, the, the zipper itself, the little T-handle, that has stayed attached, which is always stuff you worry about when it's that hard to open up. So that's the handle right there. You can tell it ain't cheap. It's actually... No, the, nothing on here is right cheap. There. Yeah, and obviously the tabs are on both sides and you can zip it back up. I mean, it's really well made. Inside, all your storage pockets in here. Nothing's failed in there either. A little Kobo strap in there. A little Kobo strap. Another awesome product. Yeah, I mean, this is, it's held up to everything. I mean, I've had this thing fully loaded up with everything that I've needed waterfowl hunting, plus some stuff, and nothing's torn or anything. I mean, all the handles are nice and stout on it. Nothing's ripped out. I mean, it's just a solid backpack, really. How's the bottom? Like, well, you usually hang it in the tree, don't you? It gets hot, yeah, depending on where we're at, but I mean, yeah, you this thing has it. been abused, so. There's really no signs of wear. No, I mean, it's got mud up, quite a bit of mud on it, but I mean, really, I mean, there's nothing faulty on here. Backpack straps are all solid, decent amount of cushion on them. Uh, if you want to see more about this backpack, I did do a fully in-depth review on it already. Impression, first impression. Well, I did a first impression of this already and went over all the features of it and stuff like that. But um, if you're interested in a fully waterproof backpack that can stand up to some abuse, you can check it out in the description below. There'll be an Amazon affiliate link there where you can go and purchase one of these if you're in the market for it. I mean, this would be good for anybody that has camera gear or anything like that. If you're going out kayaking or just out in a boat, I mean, your stuff's not going to get wet in here. I mean, hopefully this thing withstands a few more years of hunting or even more. Because, I mean, all these welded seams too on here, none of them are cracked or split or anything. So, I mean, it's just a all-around good backpack for being waterproof. I only use this duck hunting. I mean, we were in swamps most of the time, so I mean, this is getting drug against branches, thrown, thrown around, going through briar, pricker bushes, rose bushes. I mean, where we hunt isn't really fun to get to, a lot of spots, but I mean, it's held up to all that abuse. This strap hanging it in the tree with all the weight that's still in the backpack, I mean, that's held up, it's not torn out. I mean, this backpack has a bunch of deke D-rings on it. I mean, you can hang, I've got extra carabiners on here for hanging stuff from my Kobo strap. You can hang your duck strap off from there. So you can carry your ducks out of the woods. I mean, carry a tripod in there if you want to or anything else. It's got other little, I never use any of these, but it's got ties on there to keep everything secure to the backpack. Another little waterproof pocket in the front. Also little rings on there to zip that shut, but I mean, it, if you're looking for a good backpack to use while you're waterfowl hunting and don't want all your stuff to get wet, I highly recommend one of these. Just don't leave the zipper unzipped if it is a rainy day, otherwise it's just going to fill full of water, which I found out.
But, but you don't always think about that when you're hunting. No, you never think about that. No, just, that's the, the last thing you think about. Also, these backpacks, they come in like five different colors. There's like a tan, a black, a white, and a gray, and then obviously this green. And none of it's highly reflective, which is good. They've all got like a matte finish to them. So, I mean, it's not going to flare ducks or anything like that. No sun's reflecting off from it. And obviously, you can see in the studio lights here, I mean, you get a little reflection off from the plastic buckle, but... Hold on. Yeah, I was just going to say, these studio lights are right there. This is turning them off. And that's the true color you can see right there. You're not going to have any issues turning on the lights. This is at 100% brightness. Uh, this would generate a lot more glare than the sun would, oh, especially duck hunting. So, and you can see it's minimal at best. One other thing real, real quick. Obviously, you can see that this is not going to be submergible in water as long as you got all the zippers tight. I got it all tight, and you can see it just holds air. So it's all compressed, so that's definitely going to float in the water, too. Give her a squeeze. No matter. I am squeezing. Give her, give her, give give her the old bear hug. The moose knuckle hug. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't give it all. No, there's, there's nothing there, so. Well, there's air there. There's air. So And well. a couple of things from duck hunting in there, but. Yeah, but that shows you everything you need to know, because if there's no air coming in, ain't they no don't water. Want, water ain't going to get in there. No, sir. All right, but again, this was the the breakwater backpack so like I said in the description below if you're interested in a waterproof backpack I would highly recommend one of these now there's a couple different backpacks that they have this is the largest one the other one's a little smaller but I mean for what I'm using it for it worked perfect and hopefully I got a few more seasons with this before it starts falling apart or maybe it won't ever fall apart but time will tell but for now this is Chris Johnson Blue Collar Outdoors if you haven't yet, like and subscribe to the channel. And we do have the website up. And if you go to the website, it'll lead you to everything, the pattern service, all of our social media, and everything like that. Uh, we got one more video to film today. So we'll see you guys on the next one.